proudly presents <laughs> A Day in the Life of Juan Mexico. Events depicted in this drama are entirely fictional, and any similarity to when the person are living or entrenched is purely coincidental. <laughs> Putting you through. Así, <coughs> señor, can I? Good morning, Juan Mexico. Señorita de Spaghetti, you believe me speaking? Putting you through. Así, <coughs> señor. Good morning, Juan Mexico. Señorita de Spaghetti, you believe me speaking? Putting you through. Uh, si, senor, can I help you? Are you the girl from Ipanema? Or are you the girl with the emphysema? <laughs> you know, if you shortened your name, you could get over that. Uh, what is your problem, senor? See, si, I'd like to see Manuel. Manuel? There's nobody here by that name, senor. No, there must be. No, no, senor. What is your problem? It's my computer. It's cactus. <laughs> Senor, what you expect? This is Mexico. <laughs> Everyone in Mexico have a Dell Cactus or an AST Rio Bravo. No, no, no. I don't have a Dell or an AST. <laughs> oh, you have a compact, a Desco. Ay, ay, ay. No, no, I don't have a compact. Ay, caramba. Ah, uh, ay, caramba. Take this attack on Dell. <laughs> no, no, no. You shut up. You listen. I have a Wang computer and my Wang is broke, so I call the Wang CCC. CC? -C? No, no, CC. CCC. I see. No, I see. The CCC. <laughs> the Wang call control center. Listen, senorita, you're starting to give me a big pain in La Bamba. <laughs> Sorry, senor, to continue. See, my Wang computer is broke. So I called the Wang Call Control Center, and this gringo he ring me up about three hours later. He said to me, what's the matter? I said, my Wang was broke. It needs more memory. I got the memory, but I don't know where to stick him. He says to me, <laughs> <laughs> you look up Manuel. So here I am. Where's Manuel? I want to talk to him. I think you misunderstand the engineer, senor. What's that? I think that was our engineer, a Montezuma, parking hey. his car under the building. <laughs> hey, what? A Montezuma, please come to second floor reception. Montezuma, you get early, Montezuma. <laughs> Very unusual. <laughs> this is um, Senior. Um, senior. I am from the law firm Shot Punch and Donuts. I am <laughs> Buckle Punch. <laughs> buckle Punch? Holy guacamole! You're the old stupid old who does not know how to stick his memory. Hey, you wanna buy some more? I got one main, I got two main, I got eight main. Hey, I even got nutmeg. Go good on pumpkin soup. <laughs> hey, how much you want? I got more memories than a 40 trip to Manila. You know what I mean, senor? I don't want to buy your memories, you cactus sucking pinata head! <laughs> hey, I've got a hard drive. I got 100 meg. I got 200 meg. Look, I want to see my salesman takes Max. Oh, he's on siesta, senor. <laughs> siesta? It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. What time does he finish the Esther? Oh, 4.30, senora. 4.30 Friday. <laughs> you can't speak to his voicemail. Uh, she's more helpful than he is anyways. What? I, I want to see the manager, Fidel, castrated. A bullfight? There's no bullfight on today. Oh, do I say bullfight? I mean to say bullfight. <laughs> That's right, there's no bull anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he had 
a manager's conference in Guatemala. <laughs> no, I'm here, Senorita. Bienvenida. Oh, Senor Castrano. Yesterday I went to Tijuana. I got a memo from Keith El Capo saying, go to market with seamless model. So I pick up a little senorita down corner and go to market in Tijuana. And hey, got a little handbag for missus. 48 pesos. How's everything going anyway, Despina? Anything I should know about? Oh, no, senor. Oh, there was one issue. Well, some bombastic buzzer of a customer blew in. A senor punch uh, saying something about his computer. Mem uh oh. Is that customer still standing right next to this? I'm afraid so, senorita di Infinima. Do I say that out loud or just think it? Out loud. I always do that, Lakey. Yeah. Easy mistake, Despina. Anyone could have made it. Hey, amigo, what's your problemo? Oh, what's my problemo? You're the one with the problem, amigo. What kind of tin pot joint are you running here? Tin pot? Hey, that reminds me. Also in Tijuana, I buy a big, big saucepan for cooking up big frioli. Only four pesos. Ooh, that's cool. But you're supposed to be a service company. You're supposed to be customer driven. We are. The customers are driving us local. <laughs> <laughs> Look, senor, we are a quality assured, empowered company committed to service excellence and meeting and exceeding our customer expectations. <laughs> oh, they do. You're a very funny fellow. <laughs> you ever thought of doing a stand-up? <laughs> Do a stand-up? Hey, the way I take a piece is none of your damn business. <laughs> Who told you anyway? <laughs> Zuma, you're fired. It's not me, boss. Ah, and another thing. Every time I, order, I put in a service call, this gringo, he rang me up. He says, I got the water parts. I got the water parts. <laughs> well, I always got to wait for parts. Is it so, Zuma? See, si, it's not my fault. This is storm! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the storm and speedy up here. Let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> hey, Speedy, get your miserable carcass up here to the second floor reception. Pronto! We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, honey! Ah! <laughs> oh, John! Hey, Fidel, what you want? <laughs> Customers say you got no parts in your store. Is this true? No, I got millions of parts in my store. Then why is it when I want a part, there's never one on the shelf? Because I don't use the parts on the shelves. Why not? Because if I use the parts on the shelves, I got to carry him 30 or 40 feet. But if I put the part on priority order, and the man in the big truck comes and he dumps him right in the middle of the floor. I only got to carry him three feet. <laughs> me not dumb, me being ergonomical. <laughs> you being lazy, you big fat honey dog. <laughs> hey, don't hit me, boss. Why do I always get the rough end of the cactus? You wish. <laughs> Uh, I want you to get all the right TSLs in the store by next week. You do know what TSLs are, don't you? Sure I do, boss. I think it means tequila, sunrise, liquors. But I already got plenty of that. <laughs> oh, Speedy. You know that big bottle of alcohol that has that ugly, ugly floating pear in it? And the first time you ever see one, you think it's a big turd? <laughs> see? Well, the first time, or every time I see one, I can't help but think of your brain. <laughs> Did you know that? Now get on and run the store properly! <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to put up with around here, Senor Punch? Hey, what's all the racket? How's a man supposed to get a little shut eye around here? <laughs> oh, customer. <laughs> Senor Punch, it's a pleasure to see you again. And Senora Punch and that Bambinos. Are they well? Ah, oh, it's been too long. <laughs> the only thing that is too long, Senor, is your nose from telling all those lies about this Frioli computer system. 
What's in your pouch? I don't tell lies. Why? I'm as honest as the day is long. Ah, which day? The winter solstice in Iceland? What's in your pouch? is being humorous. I love a good joke. <laughs> ah, then you will love this. I am not paying my bill, so there is no commission for you. But same punch! You told me that this new computer will run the new Super Duper Ultra Vernix software. That is right. It will. But I need another 1400, uh, 4000 megabytes of RAM. Yes, uh, I have 1400 gig of disk drive. <laughs> yes? Did you bring your checkbook? The only thing I bring for you, senor, is a lawsuit. For all of you, I am going to sue you all. You think you are dealing with some gringo from the mother of the border? But I will show you all. I am smarter than all of you put together. And why did you buy our computer? <laughs> <laughs> See your punch. You can borrow a lot of computer until you your comments are sorted out. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Your learner, and you measure the size of your large intestine with it. You are the most stupidest, lampreyest incontinent. You punch. Don't you mean incompetent? No, I mean incontinent. You all piss me off. <laughs> I am going to tell you well with a bunch of losers you all are. I am going to drive you all into the dark. I am going to rub your noses in the manure of the armadillo that lies stinking and rancid on the ground of Copa Mexico. I am going to... Hey, Senor Punch, I know what you need. Oh, what do I need now? You need an NDE. Huh, what's an NDE? And how much is that going to cost me? An NDE, a near-death experience. <laughs> and I give you one for free. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Fidel, what have you done? Uh, 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 that was incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Suddenly, I'm floating out, out, out of my body, looking out over all of you. And I'm floating up, and suddenly I hit my head on the antenna on the top of the building. Oh, and then I start rushing towards this bright white light. So brilliant, so radiant. <laughs> and then this voice he says to me, this very gentle voice, he says, You cannot come in here now. At this time, you still have an overrated lease on your car. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm drawn back, sucked into my body. <laughs> and here I am, able to breathe, able to smell the cactus flower and bloom, able to taste the tequila. <laughs> and suddenly, I don't give a shit about my computer. <laughs> Thank you, muchas gracias. All of you, all of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I leave you now. Vaya con Dios. You see, everybody, it's as I all.